guys, I'm back. Today I'm going to do Micah 6 to 7, Nathan 1 to 3, Proverbs 5, and Psalm 11. Let's get started. Hear what the Lord says. Arise, plead your case before the mountain, and let the hills hear your voice. Hear ye mountains, the indictment of the Lord, and your enduring foundations of the earth. For the Lord has an indictment against his people, and he will contend with this now. Now, my people, what have I done to you? How am I weary you? Answer me. For I brought you up from the land of you, and have redeemed you from the house of slave. And I sent before you Moses, Aaron, and Miriam. Now, oh, my people, remember what Balak, king of Moab, devised, and what Balaam, son of Beor, and answered him, and what happened when I him to give up. Now, you may know the righteous acts of the Lord. With what shall I come before the Lord? And burn myself before God on high. Shall I come with glory and with burnt offerings, with calves a year old, with the Lord be pleased with thousands of rams, with ten thousands of rivers of oil? Shall I give my force glory for my transgression, the fruit of my body, for the sin of my soul? And as he has told you, O man, what is good? And what the Lord, mm, what the Lord, mm, mm, what does the Lord require of you? Not to do justice. And to love kindness and to walk humbly with your God. And the one who says the Lord of Christ to the sea. And it is sound wisdom to feel in me. He is the Lord and of him who appointed it. Can I forget any longer the treasures of wickedness in the house of the wicked? And the scant measure that is the curse? Shall I acquit the man with wicked scales and with a bag of deceitful delights? De Deceitful weights, your rich men are full of violence, your inhabitants speak lies, and their tongue is deceitful in their mouth. <clears throat> Wherefore I'll strike you with a great misplay. <clears throat> you making you desolate because of your sins. You shall eat, but not be satisfied, and they shall be humble within you. You shall go away, but not preserve, and what you preserve, I will give to the sword. You shall sow, but not reap. You shall tread on, but not upon you. Anoint yourself to thought. You shall trade grapes, but not drink wine. For you have kept the statues of money, and all you the works of the house of Ahab. And you have walked in their councils, that I may make you a desolation, and your inhabitants are hissing, so that you bear the scorn of my king. Woe is me, for I have become as when the sun has been gone, as when the grapes have been green, when there is no cluster tea, no fresh ripe right figs that we so desire. The godly has perished from the earth, and there is no one upright among mankind, and they all lie in wait for blood, and each haunts the other with a net. Their hands are on what is weak, and do it well. The prince and the judge ask for a bride, and the great man utters the evil desire of his soul. Thus they weave it together. The best of them is like a bride, the most upright of them is for one hedge. The day of the watchman of your punishment has come. Now the confusion is at hand. Pay no trust in the name. Have no confidence in a friend. Guard the doors of your mouth from her who lies in your arms. For the son treats the father with contempt. Her daughter rises up against her mother. The daughter in law against her mother in law. The man's enemies are the man of his own house. But as for me, I'll look to the Lord. And I'll wait for the God of my salvation. And then God will hear me. Rejoice not over me, O oh my enemy. And therefore, I shall rise. And when I sit in darkness, the Lord will be a light to you. And I'll bear the indignation of the Lord. Because I have sinned against him. Until he plays my cause and executes judgment for me. He shall know, he will bring me out to the light. I shall look upon the vindication, his vindication, his vindication. Then my enemy will see, and shame will cover her who said to me, Where is the Lord your God? And her eyes will look upon her. Now she will be trampled down like the mire of the streets, the day for the building of your walls. And that day the boundary shall be far extended, and in that day they will come to you, from Assyria and the cities of Egypt, and from Egypt to the river, from sea to sea, and from mountain to mountain, that the sea will be desolate. Because of its inhabitants, and of the fruit of their deeds. <clears throat> Shepherd your people with your staff, the flock of your inheritance. You dwell alone in a forest in the midst of the garden land. Let them graze in Bashan and Gilead, as in the days of old, and as in the days when you came out of the land of Egypt. And I'll show them marvelous things. The nations shall see and be ashamed of all their might, and they shall lay their hands on their mouths. Their ears shall be deaf, they shall lick the dust like a serpent. Must be calling things of the earth. They shall come trembling out of their strongholds. They shall turn in dread to the Lord our God, and they shall be in fear of you. And who is a God like you, crawling in iniquity and passing over transgression for the remnant of his inheritance? He does not retain his anger forever, because he delights in sadness. Love. He will again have compassion on us. He will trade our iniquities underfoot. He will cast all us 
Ah, oh, that's it. I'm too deaf to the sea. And you say faithfulness to Jacob, and his death love to Abraham, and he was sworn to our fathers from the days of old. Nahum 1 to 3. And an oracle concerning the, the book of the vision of Nahum of Elkosh. The Lord is a jealous and avenging. And avenging. The Lord is avenging and <clears throat> wrathful. The Lord takes vengeance on his adversaries and takes wrath for his enemies. The Lord is slow to anger and great in power. And the Lord will by no means clear the guilty. His way in, is in world and instant. And the clouds are the dust of his feet. He rebukes the sea and makes it dry. He dries up all the rivers. Bashan and Carmel wither. The limb of Lebanon withers. The mountains quake before him. He the hills and the earth heaves before him. The world and all he dwells in. Who can stand before his indignation? Who can endure the heat of his anger? His wrath is poured out of like fire, and the rocks are broken by into pieces by him. The Lord is good, he has strong heart in the day of trouble. He knows those who take the foods in it, but with an overflowing flood he will make a complete end of the adversary, and will pursue his enemies into darkness. What do you plot against the Lord? He will make a complete end. Trouble will not rise the second time. For they are like entangled thorns, and like drunkards as they drink. They are consumed like stubble fully dry. Whom you came one who plotted evil against the Lord, a worthless counselor. They are settled. Though they are at full strength and many, they will be cut down and passed away. Though I have afflicted you, I will afflict you no more. And now I will break this yoke from off you and burst you, will burst your bonds up. The Lord has given commandment about you. No more shall your name be perpetuated. Um, the house of your God shall cut off the carved image and the metal image. I will make your grave, for you are filled. Behold, among, upon the mountains, the feet of him who brings good news, who publishes peace. Keep your feet searching, fulfill your vows. But never again shall the worthless pass away. He is utterly cut off. The scatterer has come up against you. Man the ramparts, watch the road, dress for battle, collect all your strength. For the Lord is restoring the majesty of Jacob, as the majesty of Israel. The four wonders have plundered them and ruined their branches. The shield of the Lord is mighty man is ready. And his soldiers are clothed in scarlet. The chariots come with flashing metal on the day he musters them. The cypress spears are brandished. The chariots race madly through the streets. They rush to and fro through the squares. They gleam like torches. They dart like lightning. He remembers his offices. They stumble as they go. They hasten to the wall. The siege tower is set up. The river gates are open. The palace melts away. His mistress is stripped. She is carried off. The slave girls lamenting, moaning like doves, and beating their breasts. Never is like pool whose waters have run away. Hold, hold, they cry, but none turns back. Plunder the silver, plunder the gold. There is no end of the treasure or, the, or of the wealth of all precious things. Desolate, desolation and ruin, hearts melt and knees tremble. Anguish is all, in all loins. All faces grow pale. Where is the lion's den, the feeding place of the young lions? Where the lion and lioness went, where his cubs were, with none to so. The lion tore enough for his cubs, and strangled prey for his lionesses. He filled his prey with caves of prey, and his den was torn flesh. Behold, I am against you, declares the Lord of hosts, and I will burn your chariots in smoke, and the sword shall devour your young lions. I will cut off from your prey. Your prey from the earth, and the voice of your messengers shall no longer be heard. Woe to the bloody city, all full of lies and plunder. No end to the prey, the crack of the whip, and the rumble of the wheel, the galloping horse and bounding chariot, horsemen charging, the clashing sword and glittering spear, hosts of slain, heaps of corpses, dead bodies without end. They stumble over the bodies, and all for the countless whorings of the prostitute. Graceful and deadly charms, who betrays nations with their horns and peoples with their charms. Behold, I am against you, declares the Lord of hosts, and I will lift up and will lift up your skirts over your face, and I will make nations look at your nakedness and kingdoms at your shame. I will throw filth at you and treat you with contempt, and make you a spectacle, and all who look at you will shrink from you and say, Wasted is in your who will grieve for when shall where shall I seek comforters for you? Only better than Thebes that sat by the Nile with water around her, her rampart a sea, and water her wall. Kash was a strength in Egypt too, and that without limit. Put and the Libyans were helpless. Yet she became an exile. She went into captivity. Her infants were dashed in pieces at the head of every street. For her honor men lots were cost. And then all the great men were bound in chains. You also will be drunk, and you will go into hiding. You will seek a refuge from the enemy. All your fortresses are like fig trees, with first ripe the figs. If shaken, they fall into the mouth of the eater. <clears throat> Behold, your troops are women in your midst. The gates of your land are wide open to your enemy. 
weapons. Why has devoured your bar? Draw water for the siege. Strengthen your fort to go into the clay. Tear out the mortar. Take hold of the broken mold. Then will the fire devour you. If the sword will cut you off. It will devour you like the locust. Multiply yourselves like the locust. Multiply like the grasshopper. You increase your merchants more than the stars of the heavens. Your locust spreads its wings and flies away. Your princes are like grasshoppers. Your scribes are like clouds of locusts settling on the fences. In the day of calm, when the sun rises, they fly away. And no one knows where they are. Your shepherds are, sh are, sh are asleep. The kings of Assyria. Your nobles slumber. Your people are scattered on the mountains. With none together, there is no easing your hurt. Your wound is grievous. All you hear the news is that you clap their hands over you. For upon whom has not come your unceasing evil. Proverbs five. My son, be attentive to my wisdom, incline your ear to my understanding, that you may keep discretion, and your lips may guard knowledge. For the lips of a fool bitter more than drip honey, and the speech is smooth and low. In the end, she is as bitter as one with as sharp as a two-edged sword. Her feet go down to death, her steps follow the path to shore. She does not ponder the path of life, her ways wander, and she does not know it. And now, I sons, listen to me, and do not depart from the words of my mouth. Keep your way far from her, and do not go near the door of her house, lest you give your honour to others, and your ears to the merciless. Let's and the strangers take their fill of your strength and your labors to the house of a foreigner. And at the end of your life you groan, and in your flesh and blood you are consumed. And you say, How I hated discipline, and my heart despised reproof. And I did not listen to the voice of my teachers, or incline my ear to my instruction. instructors. I am at the brink of utter room in the assembled congregation. Drink water from your own system. <clears throat> Run water from your own well. <clears throat> Who just springs be scattered abroad, streams of water in the streets. Let them be for yourself alone, and not for strangers. Many strangers with you. Let your fountain be blessed, and rejoice in the wife of your youth, a lovely dear, and a graceful daughter. Let her breast fill you at all times with delight. Be intoxicated always in love. Why should you be intoxicated, my son, with a poor beaten woman, and embrace the blossom of an adulteress? For a man's ways are before the eyes of the Lord. And he ponders all his past. The iniquities of all the wicked and snare, but in his have fastened the cords of his sin. He dies for lack of discipline, and because of his great folly, he is led astray. Psalm 11. <clears throat> In the Lord I take refuge. How can you say to myself, Flee like a bird to your mouth? Oh, behold, the wicked bend the bow, they have fitted their arrow to string, to shoot in the dark the at the upright of in heart. If the foundations are destroyed, what can the righteous do? The Lord is in his holy temple, the Lord's throne is in heaven. His eyes see, his eyelids test the children of men. The Lord tests the righteous, but his soul hates the wicked and the one who loves violence. Let him rain coals on the heat. Fire and sulfur and a scorching wind shall be the portion of their cup. But the Lord is righteous, he loves righteous deeds. The upright shall behold his face. Now the sun, I shall now do the Lord's prayer. Please pray ahead. heads. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, you will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as you rest have given our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. See you tomorrow. Bye.